Okay, Gerald, honey, I got four chilies with cheese and onions, but let's go ahead and hold the hair. Order in. Caroline, can I have a word, please? Yes, Patsy, how can I help you? I need you to please explain this. I'm sorry, I can't help you. I don't know what that is. Oh, you don't know what it is. Well, here, let me explain it to you, honey. It says Roberta's notes. Patsy is always late. She's jealous like a snake. She doesn't do her side work. Excuse me. No, you don't have to read it, honey. It says, and don't trust her with your secrets. In parentheses, it says she gossips. Oh, my word. I can't believe someone would say that about you. I found this by the iced tea station, so I went up to Roberta and I said, could you please explain all of these rude things that you wrote about me? She said, I'm so sorry. I was simply taking notes when Caroline was training me. Patsy, I did not say that. I would never say that. Oh, spare me, honey. You're not going to be able to lie through your teeth when you got none left. Okay, girls, let's not get crazy. I'm sorry. Is that a threat? Ladies, come on now. It is not becoming to shout. No, honey. I assure you, it's not a threat. Okay, Patsy, we was girl talking. I was training her. I did not think she would write all that down for you to find, and I'm sorry. What's your problem with me, honey? Do you really want to do this right here, right now? Ladies, ladies, come on now. Oh, just stay out of this, Roberta, because you already done enough. Why don't you go take some notes? I think I'll just go do a little side work. Excuse me. Okay, fine then. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, 1972. You were supposed to be my best friend. And I told you that I liked Eric Anderson. And what did you do? I was working here at Nails that night. And you went to his football game wearing dolphin shorts and a bikini top. Holding up a sign that said, go Eric, go. And he asked you out. And then I had to find out Monday from everybody else. And that ain't how best friends act. And you broke my heart, Patsy. Oh, honey, we were girls. I had a crush on him, too. We were teenagers. If he would have chosen you, I would have been happy for you, honey. But how could I have known if you didn't tell me? You don't hurt the ones you love, Patsy. And if by circumstance you do, you say you're sorry. And you do the things that need to be done to make it right. And you ain't never made it right. You just walk around and you bat your eyes at everybody thinking everything's okay. Well, it ain't. All I ever wanted was a sorry. Life's too short to hold grudges, honey. To walk around with an angry heart. I don't want to be that person. And I certainly don't want to be that person to you. You're right, honey. Like that movie Love Story, love is never having to say you're sorry. But I understand in this case you deserved an apology that I never gave you. And I knew I hurt you. But I was too scared to confront it. Because then I would have had to confront that I did something wrong. And you're right, I did. Friends don't treat each other that way. So please accept my apology, Caroline. I hope one day we can be friends again. I miss you. I miss us laughing, riding in the car, singing to Crocodile Rock. Well, maybe in time we can work on being friends again. But in the meantime, just do some darn side work around here, okay? You got it, sweetheart. My side work today is stocking the sweet and lows. Already did it. Okay, honey. Well, you have yourself a good shift. And I do apologize about you finding them notes. Okay, Roberta, let's get back to your training. Now, I'm going to have you go stock the sweet and lows, okay? Right this way. Afternoon, Shane. Everything in this kitchen smells wonderful. You're gonna have to teach me how to cook some of this stuff sometime. 